In this video, we're going to look at taking our model from Marvelous Designer and bring it into Blender or ZBrush to create a high poly version. So, the part that you need to do inside Marvelous Designer is incredibly simple. Just select everything with Control A, right click pretty much wherever you like, and click Quad Triangulate. It might freeze for a moment while it does that, and it's finished. Now all I need to do is head up to File, Export, we're going to use FBX, and then we're just going to give it a name, I'm going to call this Clothes 2, because I already exported it once, preparing the tutorial, click Save, and in these settings, we just want to make sure we choose multiple objects, thin, and united UV coordinates. In fact, correction, sorry, we can do a single object to speed up the process in ZBrush, and then we just click OK. So, now we're in ZBrush, all we're going to do is to go to File, Import, Import our FPX file. Click OK. Change the matcap from red to grey, naturally. Drag it out like this, press T, and then do Control N to show just this mesh. And then we're going to do Control, sorry, Shift F to see the wireframe. Next stop is Polygroups, we just want to do Auto Groups with UV. This will take a second, so I'm going to speed up and cut the video here. Alright, now that's done, our mesh is nice and colourful. And one small thing about this mesh is that the way it's been designed in Marvelous, and it is just one of the default, there's a couple of overlapping panels. So if you see a few areas around this area, just don't worry about that. But when you create your Marvelous Designer clothes, don't do overlapping panels or split and thicken them separately. So anyway, the next thing we're going to do is just go to the Geometry, Z Remesher. We're going to do Keep Groups, but not Smooth Them. Um, for the Target Polycon count, we're going to want at least 35. Click the Z Remesher, and let's see what we get. All right, not bad. This looks pretty spot on for what we're looking for. It looks a little rough in some places, but when it's been smoothed over later, it should be just right. So now that's done, all we need to do is go to the edge loop section. And this is the real part that's kind of the meat and potatoes of making the thicker cloth in ZBrush. We just want to turn the polish all the way down, turn the bevel off for elevation. I like minus 100, but you can do that in other ways. It will just dictate which side it gets pushed out of. And we're going to leave the thickness at about 0.01 in this case, that's just right. And then we're just going to click on panel loops. And all that's going to do is just give a thickness right away to our pieces. It's not immediately noticeable, but you can see it when we look at the sides here. Again, we just have these overlapping panels, but that's only because they're designed for marvellous. And you can see it's occurred on this skirt as well. But all you need to do in that case is just design your pieces without overlapping panels. I give this a couple of subdivisions, and it's starting to look pretty right. The only issue is in some places we have kind of a almost a, a gritty surface, but we can just take the smooth brush by holding shift and just rush over these areas that, or brush over these areas rather, that have this unfortunate effect on them. <coughs> ZBrush will like to sharpen some of our folds up to be a bit thicker than they should be, or a little sharper than they should be rather. But we can just go over these areas and smooth them out easily, and you see once we do that it gives us a really nice result. The last thing we're going to want to do, and that's just to sort out some of these little corner areas is if we go to the deformation section here we can use the inflate and we don't want to do much we want to do the tiniest bit of inflation just that much there you can see when that gets baked down it will have like no impact on it whatsoever it won't make the clothes actually any thicker but you can see it will seal up these edge seams and in a few places we've had unfortunate corners like that but these can just be changed in your marvelous designer document this piece wasn't designed super well with this method in mind, so when you design it, just don't layer things up too thickly, and if you do, split them off. So in Blender, the setup is incredibly simple. We're just going to add three modifiers, which I've prepared here. I'm going to turn them on one by one and show what they do. The Solidify modifier will add thickness to the clothes, and make sure you keep that thickness quite low. The Subdivision modifier will add some more topology and smooth it over. And the Weight of Normal modifier you just add that one and it will smooth over the surface. Now, the upside of Blender is you see the corners and things around here are perfect with no need to tweak them. Everything just works. But the downside is in some areas, the smoothing of the topology isn't as great. And it would require you to go into sculpt mode later after applying your modifiers and then smooth things over. So to show off what that looks like, I'm just going to go into sculpt mode now. Choose the smooth brush, give it a low strength for about 0.3. And I can just go over these areas that are a little bit rough and you see, they smooth it just as easily as ZBrush, but it's a little bit more difficult to see out the perfect shading because you have to apply modifiers and get destructive with it, which, I mean, technically you're doing in ZBrush anyway, but it just does not do so well in Blender, but you can get equally good results. Well, 
that's the end of the video. Hopefully that was useful. And if it was, please do leave a like or a comment and maybe share it with a friend so more people can find the information. Whatever way though, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all next Friday.